In this lecture, we need to calculate circuit parameters when PN junction diode is connected in series. And for this, we use different circuit analysis methods like KVL, Kirchhoff's voltage law, KCL, Kirchhoff's current law, etc. And we can use these methods only when diode is replaced with its equivalent model. I have explained three equivalent models. First one is piecewise linear model. Second one is constant voltage drop model. Third one is ideal model. In case of piecewise linear model, we have VB, that is the barrier potential of diode, and RD, RD is the resistance of diode, and equivalent model will look something like this. This is VB, barrier potential, and then resistance is connected in series, RD. This is the equivalent model in case of piecewise linear model. RD is equal to 1 by slope of the curve. In case of constant voltage drop model, VB is there, but RD is equal to 0 because this resistance is very small as compared to the resistance of other elements in this circuit. And when RD is equal to 0, this implies slope of the curve is equal to infinity. And if we draw the VI characteristics for this model, it will look something like this. Before barrier potential VB, current is 0. And once barrier potential is reached, current increases significantly. This is VD, voltage across the diode. This is ID, current through the diode. And circuit will look, circuit will look something like this, plus minus VB. And this circuit is for this reason. When VD is greater than VB or equal to VB, when voltage across the diode is greater than or equal to VB barrier potential, we have this model, but when but when VD is less than VB, it means voltage across the diode is not greater than or equal to the barrier potential. We will replace the diode with open circuit. So these are the two models and we must remember these two models in order to solve numerical problems. The third model is ideal model and in this model both barrier potential and diode resistance are equal to zero. Out of these three models, second model will be used, constant voltage drop model will be used. Now I will explain how we can calculate current and voltages in series diode configuration. First I will make the circuit. This is the PN junction diode we are using. And let's say VK is turn on voltage, is turn on voltage or you can call it the barrier potential for the diode. Diode is silicon diode and uh, the barrier potential is equal to 0 0.7 volts in case of silicon diode and it is equal to 0 0.3 volts in case of germanium diode. This is the resistance R and voltage across the resistance is VR. Then we have the voltage source. Only one voltage source is there in this circuit and this point is connected to the ground. V is the external voltage source and we have to calculate ID, current flowing through the diode ID. We have to calculate voltage across this resistance R. The first thing we have to do is to determine the state of all the diodes used in this circuit by determining the state of diode. I mean to determine whether the diode is on or it is off. We are using constant voltage drop model and in this model there are two cases. In first case diode is on and in second case diode is off. So we have to determine whether this silicon diode is on or off. There is only one diode in this circuit and there is one very simple trick to find out whether the diode is on or off. You have to match, you have to match the direction, direction of current, the direction of current with the arrow with the arrow in the symbol of pn junction diode this is the arrow in the symbol and if the direction of current match to the direction of arrow we will say diode is on there is only one voltage source in this circuit so direction of current is clockwise like this this is the direction of current and the direction of current is matching with the direction of arrow so the diode is on and I will replace this diode with its equivalent circuit. I will replace the diode with its equivalent circuit. And the equivalent circuit will contain 
a voltage source having the voltage equal to VK because VK is the turn on voltage or barrier potential. So we have voltage equal to VK in place of PN junction diode. Now we can easily calculate this current ID and voltage across the resistor. I will use Kirchhoff's voltage law to calculate VR. V minus VK minus VR equal to zero. V minus VK minus VR equal to zero. This is by using Kirchhoff's voltage law. And when I rearrange this equation, I have VR equal to V minus VK. This is the value of voltage across this resistor. And ID is simply, ID is the current through the diode is simply equal to IR. IR is the current through the diode and it is equal to VR divided by R. In this way, you can easily solve the numerical problems. What if I reverse the position of PN junction diode used here? If I reverse the position, then we have diode connected like this and this is the voltage source resistance R and you can see direction of current is not matching with the arrow in the symbol so diode is off and we will replace it with its equivalent model when diode is off we replace it with open circuit like this so current ID is simply equal to zero because the circuit is open and if you want to calculate VR VR then VR is also equal to zero because there is no current in this circuit now I will solve one numerical problem I will solve one numerical problem to make things more concrete in your head this is the problem that we have to solve in this problem we need to calculate current I by using constant voltage drop model there is only one voltage source and two resistances in this circuit. Direction of current I is similar to the direction of arrow in the diode symbol. So diode is on, diode is on and we have to replace this diode with its equivalent model. When diode is on, we replace it, we replace it by the barrier potential. In case of silicon diode, barrier potential is equal 0.7 volts 0.7 volts now we can easily calculate this current I by using the Kirchhoff's voltage law I will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in this loop plus 20 volts minus 20 I minus 0.7 volts is equal to 0 plus 20 volts minus 20 I minus 0.7 volts is equal to 0 from Kirchhoff's voltage law and we can easily calculate the current I 20 I is equal to 20 volts minus 0 0.7 volts so I is simply equal to 19.3 divided by 20 so I is equal to 0 0.965 amps or we can write it as 965 milliamps this is the answer of this numerical problem I have one homework problem for you in this homework problem you have to calculate current I in the circuit shown using constant voltage drop model there are two silicon diodes in this circuit one voltage source and one resistance you need to calculate this current I once you have the value of this current post it in comment section I will end this lecture here see you in the next one